Welcome to this overview of Anvil's progressive signing feature. Anvil gives you two ways to fill a PDF with data, via web form or via an API call. In today's video, we'll be using a web form to illustrate progressive signing. By default, each user will need to fill data in a document before either of them can sign. That often means most users interact with the flow twice, once to fill it and then again to sign it. With progressive signing, one user can fill out their information and sign at the same time without having to wait for the second user. This way, each person only needs to interact with the document just one time. Let's look at a real world scenario. Imagine a lease agreement. The landlord fills out information and signs the document first. Note how the tenant fields remain empty. Then a tenant fills out their information and signs. The package is now complete. There are two ways in which you can set up progressive signing. First and foremost, make sure you're on a custom plan. One way to set up progressive signing is using Anvil workflows. Make sure all web forms and signers have been set up in your workflow. In this example, we have an employer and an employee web form, as well as an employer and employee signer. Next, within your workflow editor, navigate to advanced settings. Here, you'll notice that for signature events, once after all web forms are complete is the default setting. Toggle this to between web form completions. You'll then see the web forms and signers in your workflow and can order them in any sequence you prefer. In our case, I want my employer form to be completed and signed by the employer first, followed by the employee form and employee signature. Save that and you're done. A second way to set up progressive signing is over API for standalone e-sign packets. Here's my Postman workspace and you can see I have a create etch packet request set up so far. All you'll need to do here is add a new property called allow updates to your eSign packet and assign it a value of true. This will make your packet compatible with progressive signing so you can edit data between signatures going forward. That's it. 